Good morning, YouTube. Josh here from EverydayFBA.com. Man, it's about 8 o'clock in the morning, so you already know what that means. It's time to do a little OA. So this video right here that you're watching, we're going to walk you through a little bit of the product research process. We're going to look at some data points and kind of just give you a general guideline, a blueprint, if you will, about how to qualify buys for Amazon. This is how you do online arbitrage. Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. If you are not subscribed, please go ahead and do so and check out all the other videos that I have on this channel because there's a lot of tips and tutorials, things you need to know if you want to operate a successful Amazon selling business or just getting money online in general. That's what we do here on this channel, all right? So we're going to get into this OA analysis, but first I do have to give away some stuff for free. So in my last video, I asked you guys to drop a comment and to like the video if you wanted access to my ungating guide. And man, you guys surely did come through. So I am going to pick three people at random. If you see your comment pop up on the screen right now, you have one completely free access to my ungating guide. Just send me an email at hi at everydayfba.com and I'm going to hook you up. We're going to do the same thing on this video too. So if you want access to my ungating guide that has helped a lot of people get ungated in different categories and brands, drop a comment on this video, throw a like on it. You can comment anything you want, just keep it classy and I'll pick another person in my next video to get 100% free access. And with all that being said, let's get into this OA analysis. Now you already know I'm using tactical arbitrage. I have a few tools that I use to make the whole online arbitrage process easier. And you're gonna see some of them in this video. And you definitely don't need all these tools to make it work, but they absolutely help. Imagine if you're a surgeon and you go to perform a surgery and don't have the necessary tools that you need. It's just going to be completely difficult and your patient might die. Well, your Amazon business might die if you're not using the right tools because it just makes all the product analysis so much easier. So you're going to see a couple of those tools here in this video. If you want to check them out further, there's links in the descriptions that's going to hook you up. Some of them offer you some discounts. They are affiliate links, but they help me keep making videos like this. All right. Tactical arbitrage is what we're going to use. And we're just going to go deep right in to the view data folder. I don't want to spend too much on tactical arbitrage. I got a lot of tutorials on it. Check them out on my channel. I want to focus on the product analysis. So let's get into it, guys, man. This is what I do every single morning. Hopefully it could help uh, shed a little light on some OA processes for you. We can see that this first product is being sold by Amazon. That's indicated by this orange here. They are currently out of stock, but who knows when they will come back in stock. Let's go and dig a little deeper on the Amazon listing. What we're going to do, scroll down here to Keepa. You can see, yep, over the last month, they've been heavily in stock and they are currently out of stock over the last three months. A little bit of gap here and there. But overall, they are pretty much 100%, well, not 100%, obviously, I'd say, what, 90% in stock uh, over the course of the last 90 days or since this product has been uh, available. So will they come back in stock, you know, tomorrow, next week, next month? I don't know. And it's not something that I want to find out. So this is one of those risks, right? You can, in fact, you know, get this product and sell it right now because Amazon out of stock. I would definitely go with the uh, fulfilled by merchant instead of the FBA because chances are by the time that product actually gets into the FBA warehouse, especially around this time of year, uh, Amazon's going to be back in stock and you're going to be sitting on that product for a long, long time. So again, not something I'm wanting to touch. Let's move on and see if we can't find anything else interesting. We got some Bobo's Oat Bites. Uh, nothing there. Let me see. Again, we got Amazon in stock. We got Netgear. We got a little red flashing alarm here. This is a Chrome extension called IP Alert. It notifies you of brands that are known to file intellectual property complaints. What I do with these is I just exclude the brand altogether. I don't want to see that brand ever, ever again. Now, that's my own personal preference. I don't like to take those kinds of chances, although you can most definitely sell brands that file those IP complaints, although... Like I said, you're just taking a risk and it's not necessary because there's just so many products out there. You can find other stuff to sell. Now, here's a little ghost from Minecraft. That's pretty cool. My kids would love that. J. Franco is a gated brand, though. Uh, let me just make sure of that. Again, 
Chrome extension that comes into play here is going to be RevSeller. I love RevSeller. It helps me calculate all the profits. It gives me a lot of information at a glance and it lets me know whether or not I am gated on a particular product and helps me apply for approval. Now I know for a fact I'm gated in Jay Franco and I've applied for it uh, numerous times and it is one of those stores that needs invoices. So we're just going to stay away from that uh, altogether. Or let's just ignore that. Let's pretend that we can in fact sell this product so that we can actually do some more analysis. So let's pull it up on target. Here it is, $19.99 delivery to me. It's limited stock around me. Maybe I could find it near me, which is what I really like to do. It's what I really love to do. I don't want to wait for shipping if I don't have to. If I can go and pick up this product in store right now, get it packaged and get it prepped and get it off to Amazon as quick as possible. That's how you're going to capture those sales and take advantage of those arbitrage opportunities, right? $19.99 is what you can pay for this at uh, Target. And $19.99 is our buy cost. We'll put that in there. There's one FBA offer at $43.48. So if we sold it at $43.48, our price, our profit would come to $10.47. So profit's looking good, right? But it is just one small piece of the puzzle. And I really want to urge you right now not to focus solely on profits, ROIs, or margins, because if you do that, your mind is saying, oh man, this is profitable, I'm gonna make a lot of money, but in actuality, you're gonna end up losing a lot of money because the product might not even ever sell or it might not sell for that price that it is right now. That is why we have to do a little bit more digging into the Keepa history. So a Keepa chart, just like all things in life, just like tactical arbitrage and all the other tools that I use, it's gonna take some practice to be able to get good at it, right? Now I can look at a Keepa graph like this and realize what's going on pretty much in a split second and you will too if you just practice every single day. What I can see with this Keepa graph right here is that the current pricing is over inflated. Usually this product you can see right here in this line is selling for $19.99. That's who's getting the buy box. Even the third party offers again, $19.99, $19.99 you see right there for a pretty good stretch of a couple of weeks here. Only recently has it popped up a lot higher. So whenever I see something like this, it's usually an indicator that the brand itself is selling on it. And we could check that just by kind of clicking on the buy box or on the third party FBA offers and see who's coming up. Kid Store Direct, that's not Jay Franco, so it is Kid Store Direct, but they are selling at $19.99, so they must be a big store retailer and probably somebody you don't want to compete with. But more than that, what you can see on this graph is what happens when pricing is high. So you have the indicator of pricing high here, and then you have it over here as well. Someone tried to price high on this side. Now, if we look at this a little bit closer, uh, this green line is what indicates a sell. So even though it's priced really high, it was able to sell at least a couple of times. But you can see what happens when the price gets reduced to $19.99. That sales volume drastically picks up. It goes from peaking at about 300,000 rank all the way down here it's into the 20,000s the 30,000s, right? This is a product that is selling incredibly fast at $19.99. So all things considered, definitely not a product that I would sell. Let's move on and see if we can't find anything worth some cash. Here's one, uh, Fortnite, the last laugh bundle. Let me check this out. The last laugh bundle, $29.88, check availability. All right, it is available near me. Let's check it out on Amazon and see if this is something we can sell. Again, price is $29.88. Current buy box is $53. $29.88 is what we're gonna pay for it. $8.22 in profit is what we get back. 2,880 in video games, which is a great rank for video games. Up here, Jungle Scout. All right, now Jungle Scout, it's one of those tools I've been playing around with and I'm starting to like it a lot. It's not primarily for online arbitrage or retail arbitrage, but I like this right here. This monthly sales, you know, quick and easy at a glance, broke it down for me. This says that this product sells 171 times each and every month. I like that and I'd love to get me a little piece of that pie. So we already kind of uh, did a little overview about Keepa and what you can see. And you can see the buy box pricing and the FBA pricing is really consistent, man. At least over the past month, they're hovering right on point with each other. There's no volatility, right? You're not seeing a large increase or decrease in pricing. It's really just very much consistent. Here's a three month view and you can see the pricing was lower around $39.99. It was the buy box 
uh, down in September, but we're getting into November, right? So sales are definitely, you can see right here, sales are definitely starting to pick up uh, regardless of the price increase. So if you wanted to sell this product, uh, you definitely could. And this is a product that I would actually sell. So let's get into how much money can you make from this product? Maybe how many units should you buy? How many units can you expect to sell? How much profit could you potentially make? So one of the biggest questions that always gets asked is how many offers is too many offers? This particular product has seven merchant fulfilled and four FBA offers, not a lot of offers. There's not a lot of competition on this listing, but say the FBA offers was 34 or 64, you know, how many is too many should you stay away? Well, I'm gonna tell you this guys, the amount of offers on a listing does not matter. It does not matter. What matters is who is being competitive with the buy box. So the buy box is currently $53. How many of these offers are at or around that $53 mark? RevSeller makes it easy for us to look. Right here, you can see that FBA offers are uh, you know, within 3% of the low FBA. There's only two. So you would be the third seller to hop onto this listing, the third most competitive, and you would be able to split these 171 sales, theoretically, with three people. So 171 split by three, you would be able to move 57 units of this product at $8.22 in profit. You would make $468.54 uh, in the next month. Now, I'm definitely not saying to go out and buy 57 copies of this because with online arbitrage, you want to go wide, not deep, and you always want to test first. Anything can happen on Amazon, and trust me, it does. Amazon can come on a listing overnight. Uh, the pricing can completely tank. Uh, the product could go restricted, right? So you never want to go too deep on a product. Buy five, buy 10, test the market, sell those products at a price you want, and then check back on a listing. See what's happening again. Do you need to get out of this product? Should you buy more and replenish the product? It's all what you have to pay attention to when you're selling products on Amazon. But in any regards, here's a potential product that you can make profit on. Maybe not $468, but even selling just 10 units, 12 units, 15 units, you know, over the next 30 days is going to net you some pretty decent profit. Let's see if we can't find at least one more thing to show you. There's another video game. Maybe we can check that one out. Again, check availability, 1993. It's not available around me. Maybe it is around you. Uh, be on the lookout for this one. It could potentially be profitable. Here's one from Target. So 319 is the cost. It is available for shipping. Organ Chai, the original, 10 ounce. Always take notes of the quantity, of the amount, of the pack. You know, make sure the product absolutely matches up 100% with the Amazon listing. So let's go check out the Amazon listing. Uh, this purple right here, whenever you see this in tactical arbitrage, it indicates a pack. So it could very well be a pack of five, pack of two, whatever it is, but we need to check it out. In this case, it is a pack of six. And a pack of six, currently selling for 45.34, and look at that, absolutely no FBA offers whatsoever. That's incredible, man. This is a product screaming for an FBA seller to come in and capture tons of sales, tons of dollars. Well, let's not get too excited yet. We gotta do the product analysis. So 319 is what we're gonna pay and it is a six pack. $9.28 in profit, 45% return on investment. Those are some great numbers. Let's dig into the rest. Now there's a lot of variations on this product, right? So that is something I get a little weary about. I don't like particularly selling products with a ton of variations. It just makes it a little bit more difficult to gauge which one of those is actually selling. It's just a little extra work, and I'm not uh, one to do extra work, all right? We wanna do things nice, quick, and easy, and look for those products that are gonna make us easy sales and easy profits. So with this keeper graph, what I'm seeing is Amazon does come in stock, at least over the last month. They have been in stock, then they out, and then they're in, then they're out, then they're in, and they are currently out. So let's look over the past three months. We don't want to see Amazon always in stock, right? That is not good. If we look over the last year, they were, but over the last three months, not so much, very, very much 
sparse. So this is a product that you could again come in and make some sales with. Now I'm guessing that there are no FBA offers on this because people are trying to capitalize on the arbitrage opportunity. Right now, Amazon's not in stock. Somebody has to fulfill the market. So the merchant fulfillers are here and they're stepping up and they're making sales. No one's sending this into FBA because again, they fear that once they get it into FBA, uh, Amazon's just gonna come back in stock, tank the price, and you're gonna be sitting on this product for a little while waiting for them to go back out of stock. But uh, you know, looking at the last three months, I would be comfortable Sending this into FBA, again, you want to test buy and buy five, buy 10, make those packs and see if you can't capture those sales. I can't stress that enough, guys. The products that I try to sell on Amazon, they're not meant to last forever. I am looking for arbitrage opportunities, opportunities that are here and present now that I can capitalize on quickly and make those profits and get out of that product before Amazon comes back in stock, before they price tanks, before an increase in FBA competition. That is what I do on Amazon. So we got Jungle Scout saying this sells a thousand times a month. Imagine how much profit you can get as the only FBA seller on this product. Uh, $9.28 in profit, say you sell 10, you know, that's an easy $100 next month. All right, my friends, that's kind of the thought process, right? The critical thinking, the data points that I look at, the tools that I use to qualify products for online arbitrage. I am confident that if you do the same thing, use these tools, look at all the data points and make the best educated decision that you can, that you can go out and make yourself an extra thousand in profit, 2000 in profit, 3000 in profit every single month on Amazon. I know people that just get started and within a two to three month period, they're already doing $10,000, $15,000 a month in sales. Now that is sales, right? But if you're running 20 to 25% margins, you're gonna be making a full-time living by selling products on Amazon. Don't forget guys that I'm giving away free access to my ungating guys. So if you are a brand new seller, if you're new to online arbitrage, if you're new to Amazon and you find yourself gated in a bunch of categories and brands, be sure to comment on this video and throw a like on it because I'm gonna pick someone else and give away a free copy of my ungating guide so that you can get ungated and find more profits. So don't forget to comment down below i'll catch you guys on that next one peace if you are a brand new amazon fba seller or you want to learn how to start selling on amazon fba you want to get into selling used media books cds dvds you want to start doing some retail arbitrage some online arbitrage if you want to learn more about all this awesome stuff and how you can make money on amazon and make money online in general look in the description there's going to be a ton of links to help you get started there's going to be some free resources some free trainings and also some other paid stuff some good softwares some good tools everything that i use to run my Amazon FBA business. If you are a new seller, you want to know where to start, look in the description, check out those links.